Listen, sir. I know what is going on in your head. That's why I want us to talk. Talk about what? What you think you saw? Father. Father, you are an adult. And so is she. You have the right to do whatever you like. There is nothing to talk about. Listen, I have no interest in her. And I never plan to have anything with her. She tried to seduce me. Before you came in, I had asked her to leave my private parlor. That is where the big question pops up. How did she end up in your private parlor? Well, I just uh, found out that she tricked my guard. And sneaked in. I don't know what she was trying to achieve with that. Father. Like I said, you owe me no explanation. You're the king. You own everything. Do whatever you please. Listen, I did not do anything with her and I never planned to do anything with her. She only set this up and I appreciate it if you will see the way I've explained it. Should I tell you the truth? We all make mistakes in our lives. What you made was an innocent mistake. I should not continue dying in silence. I don't know what else to do. I have been calling them and nobody is taking my calls. Then you find a way and go to them. Go to them and apologize. Not actually to all of them. But to the priest who you have something for. You never can tell when he'll forgive you. I used to have something for the prince. But he vanished the moment I started eyeing the king. He was the one that caught us red-handed. I'm not sure he ever wants to speak with me again. Well, give it a try. I believe in making positive moves. And it works for me. I believe it will work for you. Scenes of the flesh. Scenes of the flesh. Scenes of the flesh. Oh, what a pity. What a tragedy. What are you doing? Ah, my queen, I'm trying to fix the lights. This is the visitor's room. If there is anything you want me to do for you, please tell me. I know. I know that this is the visitor's room. That's why we land. Oh, what a queen. That's why we land. She need the right? Yes, my queen. All right, my queen. If there is anything you want me to do for you, please tell me so I can go back to my duty. Oh, what a queen. She's lost in sin. Listen. Listen. There are things you don't just ask for. You know how they work. Oh, please, forget about that. I'm not okay. As a matter of fact, I am living my worst life now. What? No. Listen, I need your help before I go crazy, before I lose it. You know what I'm talking about. I need you. I mean, my whole body yearns for you. I need your touch. You know. Yes, I mean, I can't be it anymore. I can't be it. No, 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 no. We cannot go to the hotel. We have to meet in my place. Okay. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Please. Please, please. Oh. Finally. The agony of last night. 
Oh, we forgot. That's all she knows. She sleeps around with any man she sees. Oh, what a queen. Sad. Harry. Harry. You mean you're not married to a king? And you see God into doing this? Oh, please. Don't make it look very complicated. We have always done this. No! Nkiru, that was then. When you were still a banker. When you were single. Nkiru, now you're married. And not just to any other man, but to a king. Oh, please. Ah, Nkiru, you still got me into going under with you. How oh, I hate you so much. I hate you so much, Nkiru. Harry, you hate me? Did you just say you hate me, Harry? You hate me because I called you here to satisfy me? You call this satisfaction? Do you know what it means being married to a king? Oh, please. Kings are wild individuals and they have so many ways of killing. I'll just look for a way to put myself off this abomination of being sleeping with another man's wife. Please, don't ever call my number again. Harry! Harry! Just when I thought he would be the one I always invite to solve my problems. What do I do now? What does she have that I don't have? Who is she to have taken the man that have captivated me? I should just give up without a fight. Or should I go and apologize like my friend advised? What must I do? So, how long have you been working at the bank? Before I met your father, I have given the bank 10 years. Wow. Yes. So, what does it feel like working at the bank? Wow, it's, it really... My princess, Nick is in the palace and she wants to speak to you. Oh, can bring her. Okay, my princess. My princess, please. I'm truly sorry for what I did. You are my only friend. Please forgive me. Please. I need to understand. What exactly are you begging me for? I know I messed up. I haven't been myself since then. Please. Please forgive me. What were you hoping to achieve? I really want to know. Talk to me. Nothing. I wasn't hoping to achieve anything. I don't know, it's, it's the devil. The devil indeed. It's the devil. I can remember all the lies you told me about my king. So you went that far simply because you wanted him? Really? I wasn't talking to you. Hey, hold on. <laughs> what are you talking about? You mean she said something to you? She was very emphatic about the whole thing. She said my king was begging to marry her. And so many demeaning things. You. She cooked up so many lies against the king just to make me run away. How could you? I mean, how could a woman be so mean? And you still have the effrontery to talk back at me. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Aren't you? Neka, you did what? That they failed to forgive you should not make you to continue feeling bad. You have already apologized to them, and the burden has been lifted off from your neck. The ones who refuse to forgive you are the ones carrying the body now. 
you needed to have seen the face of that whore. Don't call her names. She is now the wife of the king, your queen, the queen of the land. Never. She is not and will never be my queen. Never. God, I hate her so much. The princess had already forgiven me. Only for her to open her crossed mouth and ruin everything. Seriously, I don't know how else to explain this to you. I have apologized to them. And the load of guilt has been removed from you. Remember that and cheer up. And do not let any other thing wear you down. You are right. I already apologized. Whether they choose to forgive me or not, it's their business, not mine. Sins of the flesh. What is wrong with you? Wake up! What's happening here? Can you imagine this man? He's sleeping on duty. I'll, I'll try to wake him up. You've not gone to bed by this time of the night. Oh, yeah. I, I, I was thirsty, so I decided to come take water. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. And, and you? I'm just coming from my friend's place. I stayed out late. Okay. Yeah, I got back. Shouldn't be sleeping on duty. Yes, my boy. How horrible. Good night. Good, good night, my queen. And you, you didn't even deny her allegation that you were sleeping on duty. My princess, even the Bible has resolved this issue of security. The Bible says that if God does not watch over the city, watch men like us are wasting their time. <laughs> yes. So, that's your sole belief on security? And you expect us to pay you every month. My princess. You see? From the day we Nothing has ever gone missing in this palace. Even in the day or night. We are doing our job and we are doing it very well. Princess, speak of increasing our salary. My nation, that's all we see. What a woman, no pride, that's all she knows. She sleeps around with any man she sees. Oh, what do you what want? Queen, Why did you send for me? Do you want to put me in trouble? Relax. I know you don't like me. But I'm here to make you an offer. An offer that will make you rich and resign from your seven them in the palace and establish you. What offer are you making to me? I'm still asking you, do you want to put me in trouble? 500,000 now. Just a little favor and you'll be smiling to the bank. What do you want? I know that you're smart and I know you can do this. I want you to put a tiny stuff in the queen's food and take some pictures. That's all. What kind of tiny stuff? You mean something that could poison the lady? 500,000 Naira. That money can do a lot for me. I might not even need to add something in her food. I will just accept her and at the process find a way of taking pictures. I can even set a camera in the visitor's room. I know she will call me again. This money is big, but my conscience will not allow me. If I do this, I have soiled my royal oaths. It will mean that I've sold my royalty and dignity. My father may even disown me. Take the money. What can I do? 500,000.
hundred thousand naira. Half a million naira. <sighs> oh God. I don't like this kind of joke. You scared me. What are you thinking about? You are, you are, you, you have lost it. You are here and you are not here. You are present and absent at the same time. Tell me what you are thinking about. I was thinking about money. Serious money. Do you have any problem with money? Mba. No, no. I love money. But which money is that? I humble myself before the king. You, you summon me. Yes, uh, go and call the queen. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. You said I should go and call the queen. Go to my chambers and call her. All right, my king. Can you help me and call the queen? The king wants to see her, please. She's in the front living room. Go and tell her that. Why ask me to do that? Ijoma, you know I don't like coming face to face with the queen. Help me, please. Besides, she's your fellow woman. Piko. Chinedu, she is my fellow woman and she's also your queen. Go and deliver your message. avoiding the queen. What is the problem? Scenes of the flesh. Please, my queen. Please. I need you to do me a favor. Can you make it easy for me? Pico. How do you mean? You are provoking me with your stupidity. And I hate it when you ask me for a favor. What nonsense! I'm sorry about that, my queen. The king wants to see you in the living room today. If you don't mind, tell the king to meet me here. That I should tell the king to meet you here? I'm sure you're not daft. Get out! My king and my everything. Thank you for coming. Oh, and by that you're confirming to me that you were the one who gave the guard the instruction. My king, you of all people know that I do not like that. Don't worry. We'll settle into it as soon as I round off with the meat. Oh, come on. <laughs> Go and have your miserable meeting. And by the time you're back, I must have satisfied myself. Rubbish. Melders, I would like this meeting to be very brief because I haven't finished business with my queen inside and I would really love to go back as soon as possible. Your Majesty, this one you are sounding like this. Should we postpone this meeting for another date? Oh, well, if it is possible, we can schedule it for another day. Why is it that since you married this very queen, you hardly have time for the others in council? Does it mean her arrival is now a cost to us instead of a blessing? No, it's your careful. That is a very uncharitable thing to say before the king. In fact, to know, not just that, it is uncharitable for anyone to say it of a king anywhere. Are you possibly insinuating that I value a woman more than the kingdom? Uh, I'm sorry if I angered the king. Uh, I didn't plan it so. I was only asking for clarification. Well, it's okay. This meeting is very crucial. For we all know that a very crucial decision has to be taken today. We should not allow ourselves to be distracted. We now have 
a queen in the land. Mm -hmm. We should be discussing the ritual of the maidens that we have not had in years. Are you saying we should organize the ritual of the maidens? Let me break it down, Your Majesty. That is the whole essence of this meeting. The queen wow. is finally here. Is there anything stopping us from organizing the ritual that will see our maidens getting married rapidly? Greetings, my queen. Yeah, greetings. You called me? Yes. Call Chinedu for me. Okay, my queen. I mean, immediately. Okay. Ije, Ije. I still want to thank you for the sweet, delicious vegetable stew. Honestly, I've never tasted something as delicious as, as that yours too. Oh, thanks for the compliments. You're welcome. The queen has asked you to see her immediately at the yeah? private parlor of the king. Please, can you go and tell her that you did not see me? In fact, I'm not in the palace. No, that we amount to telling a lie. Have you forgotten? Palace workers are banned from telling lies. Go and answer your queen. Is he always avoiding the point? My queen, um, Ijoma said you called me. Yes. Is there anything I can do for you? A lot. She's lost in sin. Yes. Yes. I saw a guy just run out of here. Oh, that. Yes. I, I actually called him to help me find one of my missing earring lock. Oh. Though I haven't found it yet. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. Um. Why are you staring like that? Don't you believe me? I do. I, I do. Uh, you know, I'm just wondering why he was leaving with such level of urgency. I don't know. I humble myself before my princess. What is happening? Why did you run out of the king's room in such manner? Um, I was... I, I, I had... I mean, I wanted to do something. You better tell me the truth if you don't want to get into trouble. Um, seriously, nothing. I did nothing. Nothing is happening. There is a man of this land called Icheke, the custodian of Ita, the ancient instrument that unmarks liars like you. Do you want me to get him involved? No. Okay. L let me say the truth. Y yes, I did not want to do anything. Y it was Ijoma that told me that the queen was looking for me. And when I got to the room, I, I, I saw the queen. Yes, he saw me. He saw me searching for my missing earring lock. And he decided to assist me. I thought I already told you about it. So why are you intimidating the poor boy? And you? Why did you leave when we did not find what we were looking for? Now go back and find it! Right. You have to agree with me that this is totally unfair. I already told you what happened. Asking further questions might make me feel that you do not trust me. Don't you think so?
why is she doing this? She knows there is no earring lock or whatever that went missing. Why is this lady luring me into sin? Um, my queen, there is no earring lock here. Can I go now, please? I believe you know exactly what will happen to you if you dare tell anyone about this. Agree to be useful to me in this palace and I will be your friend. It is to your own advantage because I will make you rich and comfortable. But refuse and you will be my enemy for life. So tell me, how do we flow? Evil shall never befall us. And our family members shall never be consumed by evil forces. See? Our wives will always remain our wives. See? And may the demon that make women to start looking after other men not locate our wives. See? Men who are men do not lust after other people's wives. For they know that the nakedness of another man's wife is sacred and must not be seen by others. See? Banish lust from our lives. And may we not behold the nakedness of other people's wives. See. May we continue to reap the fruit of our labor. See. Our wives shall continue to give birth. See. We shall never know any evil. Papa, mm -hmm. the way you were praying with Kola earlier makes one believe that the visitor is one of the men that sleep with the other men's wives. No, that is not true. I prayed the way my heart led me. That prayer has nothing to do with the man. Okay? But let me tell you this as a son. Hmm? Avoid the temptation of sleeping with another man's wife. Because that is the shortest route to the death of a man. Papa, you don't have to tell me that. What would I be doing with another man's wife? Oh, she need to. Let me tell you. You never can say when the temptation will come, but always avoid it. Hmm? Run away from sin, because if you don't run away from sin, you will continue to live making amends. Papa, I've heard you. I promise I will never have anything to do with another man's wife. Trust me. You are not saying anything. Is something wrong with your mouth? Are you my friend or my enemy? My queen, the nakedness of a man's wife is sacred and must not be seen by others. I was brought up by that conviction, man. I can never betray the spirit of my ancestors. So readily, you confirm to me that you are my enemy, right? My queen, I'm not your enemy. You are the wife of the king, the queen of this land. We are not enemies and we can never be. Oh my goodness. He's not just looking tough. But he talks tough too. Why can't he just grab me and make me feel better? Do you need to calm down? Jan, do you really think I will allow you to leave this palace when you've not told me what exactly is happening here? Ijoma, nothing is happening. Then why are you? I pondered over this the whole of last night. And I beat up my mind. I am fed up with this job and I decided to quit. Oh, Jimmy, you are not making any sense to me. Your salary was increased last month and I remember how excited you were only for you to wake up this morning and say you're tired of the job, you want to quit. Tell me the truth because I won't take this lie. If you cannot beat them, leave them, run away from them, don't join the same people that you cannot beat. 
they will kill you and your death will amount to nothing. What exactly is he talking about? Who is that person that he can meet? Ah. Where are you going with the bag? I'm going home, my princess. Thank the king for being nice all these years. He has been a great man. I appreciate for everything. But I have to pay. Hold on. What is going on? Talk to me. Did anyone threaten you on this job? I had my father increase your salary last month. I can make him increase it the more. What is it? My princess, it's, it, it's not all about the money. I just have to go, please. She may do. What you're saying doesn't make sense to me. I am sure you must have done something to him that made him leave. I'm telling you the truth, my queen. I did nothing to him. He was restless all through the night. I kept noticing that he would always leave his room and go out. Then this morning, he packed his things and left. Did he tell you anything? No, my queen. I don't know why you're looking at me like that. He woke up this morning and decided to leave the palace. Do you know why? That was exactly what I was discussing with Ijoma before you came in. I mean, I don't know. Sincerely, I am as surprised as you are. Mm. Yeah. Will you shut up your mouth? Is that no alcohol? I said shut up! This is the reason you can never get anything right in this palace. You already started taking alcohol this morning. What is wrong with you? Uh, my queen, I, I, I don't know what you mean by that. But I know very well that I have never made any fatal mistake in this palace. Uh, as for this, this is just my companion. Look at how <laughs> Stupid you sound. Very stupid. So you're waiting for the mistake to be fatal before you know you've done something wrong, right? Well, I'm obviously not here for this rubbish. I know full well that you are close to Chinedu. Yes, my yes, my friend. We are very close. But we are not in the same level. Yes. What do you mean by that? Uh, uh, Chinedu's father. Is an ordinary chair. But my father is an Zenozo. Most importantly, Chinedu has been the one making all the mistakes in this palace. 
Mm. Yes, my queen. <laughs> so he did not tell you anything before leaving this palace? He, that you just. He did not say anything to me. I just got to find out that he, he's no more in the palace a few minutes ago. Are you sure? Y yes, my Are queen. Are you really sure? Yes, my queen. I, I am the son of Onions and Ozo. I don't talk anyhow. That idiot that left this palace without saying anything to me has insulted me. My queen, I promise you he must pay dearly for that mistake and insult he rendered on my personality. Hey, my queen, he will pay. Sean? I'm not in the right frame of mind right now. I already discussed the ritual with the queen and I'll give the council the appropriate answer at the appropriate time. Stop piling on due pressure on me, please. Oh. What is it? He's not already doing this thing to what I call to present. What is wrong with our king? Call me the queen. Tell her dinner is served. This is Emeka, son of Oyez and Ozo. Dinner is served, and the king wants you in the dining room. My 
princess. I, 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 I thought you were in the dining. Where is the queen? She is inside the room. Why didn't you go inside to give her the message the king sent you? Hey, my princess, I, I delivered the message right here. Are you scared of the queen? Uh, scared? Should I go inside and drag her? My queen. And what is going on here? He is scared of you. You are scared of me? Why? No, I'm not scared of you. I never said that. I would like to get off my queen. Queen, the dinner is served, and the king is waiting for you in the dining. My princess, my queen. Oh, what a pity, what a tragedy. With tears in her eyes, she's full of. I keep getting this impression that you're hiding something from me. If that happens to be true. That means you've not accepted me the way I already accepted you. You are the one reading so many meanings into my innocent lifestyle. I am not hiding anything from you. You told me the other day that you're not in cell class with Chinedu. You say you don't make stupid mistakes. I want you to prove it to me this night. Tell me whatever you want and it shall be. That's all we see. What a woman, no pride. That's all she knows. She sleeps around with any man she sees. Hey! Come back here. The greetings, my queen. What exactly are you doing here? I was going to the store to get something and I met a maker coming out from here. Are you trying to tell me that you were just passing? Yes, my queen. Listen, do not say anything to anyone. If you dare, you will not like what will happen to you. Am I understood? Yes, my queen. Disgrace, abomination, that's all we see. What a woman, no pride, that's all she knows. She sleeps around with any man she sees. Oh, what a queen, sexual healing, sins of the flesh. Mm. Everywhere is still where I reach. Why then was he running? Sins of the flesh. Sins of the flesh. What a tragedy With tears in her eyes She's full of shame Who are you scared of? I haven't even asked you a thing and you're being defensive Why does it equally appear to me that you're hiding a thing? Please my princess, understand me I need this job and I want to keep it The only way I can keep it is by minding my business I don't know anything. Who is threatening you on this job? No one is threatening me. I don't just want to lose the job. I take care of my mother from here. So you're telling me you've not noticed any strange moves in the palace? Something you would love to bring to the king's attention? Ah, sincerely, I have not. The king gave me an approval to report to him directly. If I have anything to report, I would have done so since.
why are you consuming so much energy drink? Son, there are lots of things you do not know. I think I need this. Well, I know you can take care of yourself. I think she's doing just fine. And I also know I shouldn't pry into your private life. I'm glad you know that, my son. That I'll do just fine. You say so. Oh, Dancer's engineering company sent me an email. Wow. It appears you've been talking business without informing me. Well, it did not tell me a million for myself. We surely make him an excellent birthday. That was the plan. <laughs> Wait a minute. 200. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, so, tell me, what are the surprises do you have off your sleeves, father? Finally open the almighty box. Can't you see it yourself? Yeah? The queen and the king have remembered me. My hard work had just been rewarded. Hey, can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see? Look, look. Does it mean you actually don't have sense? Yes. Is that supposed to be any sort or what? Okay. You that have sense, have you ever been rewarded in your entire life for your hard work? You and your sense, did they buy anything for you? Check it, look at it. They're wonderful. Look at designer shoes. Look at it. So, you think she bought all these things for you because of your hard work? You're indeed a big fool. Jealousy? You see, jealousy will, will kill you. Can't you not, not, not be happy for me? So that your own person will follow the same direction and come to you. But if you, if you fuck up, you, you, you really fuck up. Why not give me this cash? Why would you send the woman to go and buy color out for me? You should have given me this money so that I will use it and arrange myself. That I allowed my son to manage the family business does not mean I do not know what is going on in the business world. They were scheduled to sign that contract for me when you threw in your proposal. Now listen to me. Go back there tomorrow morning and withdraw that your proposal. Else I will be forced to liquidate your company and take you out of circulation. Don't dare me. Don't you dare. Don't. Your Majesty. Iwe, your reign shall be forever. Uh, I came to thank you for for the the things that uh, you and uh, Lola bought for me. <laughs> What's this, that? Oh, the queen did not tell you what she bought. Uh, she bought a lot of beautiful things, uh, nice things by her standard. Uh, it's not that I don't I don't appreciate them. I, in fact, I love all of them. But, my king, you know as a man, there are things that are more important to a man than clothes, and simply than bosses or shoes. What are you talking about? Thank you very much, Your Highness, for the question. Thank you. You will live forever. Eh, yes, anyway. Had it been the gift we were transferred into cash, or had it been the cash was given to me, I would have used the money to marry one of the maidens of this land. Yes, Igwe. It's not that I don't like what the Queen bought me. It's just that sometimes it's always a beautiful and wonderful for a man to be in charge of his, his pocket. Get out! Yes, Igwe. Get out! Fine, of course. Yes, Igwe.
What are you wearing? My presence, these are expensive things from the boutique. What madness! Where is your palace uniform? Is this what we get for increasing your salary? No, my princess. The queen bought these things for me just to appreciate me. And uh, I am just wearing them so that she will see how I love and appreciate them. Eh? And, and as I'm doing it, I'm trying to see if she can buy me more. Eh? The queen bought things for you? Yes, my princess. And she also said that any time, any day, I need anything and I should not think of any other person but I should come straight to her. She's very kind. <laughs> what is she appreciating you for? What did you do for her? Ah, princess. <laughs> princess, is it because you refuse to appreciate me? Is it because you refuse to acknowledge that I'm very important in this palace? Hey, I am gifted with the, with the sense of humor. And I am just waiting for opportunity to hit the big screen, princess. Take it out, man. Look at my swag. Ah, stop. Please, please get out of this place. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, princess. <laughs> I was told you bought things for one of the guards. Oh, my king. I'm so sorry I forgot to tell you. I found out that he's the most dedicated and hardworking guard in the palace. So I decided to reward him so that others will learn. Hardworking? Yes. Dedicated? Do you even know who I'm talking about? Of course, my king. I know exactly who you're talking about. But let's not go into... Is this what you've been hiding? There is nothing concrete about the information you brought. I know. I mean, I just came to apologize for not talking to you earlier. It's not about not talking to me. It's just that you have no information to give. Don't dismiss me like that. I have a lot of information on that fool. All the used in the bank as your marketer. Just give me a little time. I will unmask her. Until you have substantial evidence to back up your claim, I would advise you be very careful with your utterances. She's the queen, remember? And the king may fall out with you for castigating his queen. Are you the one who is going to blow the whistle on me? A lot of whistles blow themselves these days. Be very careful. No, this is serious information. I mean, are you saying this just because you want to pay her back for something wrong she might have done to you? Please forgive me, my king. I've wanted to tell you this earlier, but I wasn't too sure how she would take it. She did me no wrong. My king, I am telling you now because it dawned on me that you really need to know my king. <gasps> yes. My God, this is a terrible condition for any woman. How come you think of it? Why did you mention this to me earlier when I was threatening to shut down my business activities with your bank? Why wait till now? My king, by all standards, she's a nice girl. Very nice. She doesn't even like this part of her life. She doesn't. And she has tried every possible means to salvage this condition, but nothing is working out, or to no avail. My king, we have even visited a doctor for this. Yes. What do I do? The queen of women did her kingdom in Nymphomaniac? Do I start from? I'm in a dilemma right now. Honestly, I never wanted to tell her anything. Because it will appear as if I'm still after the king. She forced me and I had to tell her everything. That is where I have a problem. You should have kept your mouth shut. If actually the woman is what the manager said, it will not be hidden. 
Is that not what is happening in the palace right now? She's making a lot of moves and they're already suspecting her. That is the reason the princess came to me. Seriously, if you will listen to me, do not discuss this with anyone again. If they to sort themselves out. Why do you sound as if you are in support of this woman? Well, I'm not supporting anyone. I'm just telling you the truth as a friend. Then keep your useless truth to yourself. I don't need it. I don't. I know exactly what has been happening between you and me. What nonsense are you talking about? Don't be offended, my queen. Admit that you have a problem. My cousin used to have that same problem. Hers was solved after she took the traditional recommended treatment. You can still do the same, my queen, and be fine. Believe me, you won't have to bed men again. How dare you? What rubbish are you saying? What do you mean that I'm begging men? How? My queen, forget about all that. I'm just trying to help. Do you know what? You are fired. Go in there, pack your miserable belongings and leave this palace. And I do not want to see you around here again. Listen, if I hear pimp from anybody, you entire family will be wiped out. Ah, my queen, is this what I get from showing concern? To hell with your miserable concern. Get out! Get out! Greetings, my princess. Go and call me Ijoma. Ijoma has left the palace, ma. How? I don't understand. The queen sent her away. Why? What happened? She refused to say anything to me, ma. When was that? A few minutes ago. Where is the queen? She's in the living room too. Oh, what a pity, what a tragedy. With tears in her eyes, she's full of Honestly, shame. I don't know what is wrong with him. He doesn't touch or talk to me anymore. I am tired. I will have to leave this palace very soon. Oh, oh, oh please don't tell me that. Don't. Because... Don't tell me that you landed me into this trouble. Now I'm the one suffering. I am messed up. I am... What? What is wrong with you? I'll have to talk to you later. Did you consult the king or any of us before you asked Ijoma to leave? I'm sorry I did not consult anyone. I mean, I was so angry. I wasn't thinking straight. What was our offense? Ijoma insulted me. She looked me in the face and told me that I married the king because of title and not for love. I mean, why would she talk to me like that? The Ijoma I know would never say a thing like that. You are not ready to say the truth. But I am telling you the truth. I mean, okay, what could have made me throw her out of this house if not the way she insulted me? Ijoma insulted me. She told me to my face. I mean, I wasn't having any issues with her. I liked her. Come to think of it, why did you even marry the king? I wish she had asked you that. Listen, Nkiru, some things do not add up, and I'm monitoring you very closely. And what is the meaning of that? Some things do not add up. Meaning what?
She sounded as if she knew something. What must I do now? Is a problem with you. You have been avoiding me. What have I done wrong? Confront me with my wrongdoings and I will change for better. Your silence is killing me slowly. Why did you send it on away? Is that what my king wants to be discussing with his queen? Ijoma is just a maid and she got what she deserved. We shouldn't be discussing that. I need an answer to my question. Why did you send that poor girl away? She disrespected me. She insulted me. She has no regards for your wife. That was why I sent her away. Oh, really? Let me guess. She found out about your secret dealings and secret moves with the guards. And then you termed it as an insult and got her fired. Am I right? Oh, you suddenly lost your voice. Um, my king. I'm so sorry, my king. I'm so sorry. I never wanted my life this way. That was the reason I refused to marry you at first. It was the pressure from my office that made me succumb. You don't deserve a woman like me, my king. I'm so sorry for everything I've done wrong. Please, forgive me, and I will leave this palace immediately. I, in fact, I will leave the country. I will, never, I will never come back again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I've done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You could have confided in me. Why did you send her away? She, she confronted me with it. I, I, I knew she was monitoring me. She, she even told me that she was going to take me to a place I would get healed. And instead of doing what she asked you to do and getting the help that you need, you got her fired. And by getting her fired, only one explanation readily comes to mind. You were obviously enjoying yourself. No, no. No, my king, I wasn't. Trust me. I didn't like the life I was living. I want to be healed. I truly want to. It's just that I was... I mean, I, I felt humiliated that she got involved. That was the only way I could do away with her. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, my king. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, please, sorry. I've decided to mind my business. There's a limit that I can go. She's married to the king. He has the final say on this. I don't know what else to do. Let me call you back, please. I don't know what you've come here to do. I don't have time for this. I am so ashamed of myself. I hate myself right now. I have lost my self-respect. My self-worth. My self-confidence. <laughs> Do you think I'm happy with the way I'm living? Okay, let me tell you. I beg men. I practically beg men that you might not be able to answer to their greetings. To touch me. That is how bad it is. I live in misery. 
even though I never chose that kind of life. I have tried everything possible to push it away, but he refused. He kept tormenting me. Honestly, I know I'm a very terrible person, but I never chose to be terrible. I, I told the king that I will leave and I will never make any claim from this family because in truth I have dented your image with my life. I am here to say that I'm sorry princess. I have realized my mistakes. I'm sorry for every single thing I have done to your family. Please don't go. I feel so terrible right now. I don't have the right to give you such an attitude. You're married to the king. He alone has the final say. Uh, not me. Not my brother. Thank you so much. You have solved this dilemma for me. The king refused to allow me go. He said we will solve the problem together. But the thing is, how would that even happen? He's right, Nkiru. This is so beyond you. You need help. I do. And this family is going to help you. Come here. Thank you. <laughs> so baby. I'm sorry, my king, to have left without telling you. I only obeyed the queen. I know the tradition of our land. Any woman that hopes to live long must never disobey the queen. And you decided not to pick any calls. That was mean of you, Ijoma. You have become a part of this family. You could have at least answered the princess. I'm sorry, my king. I'm sorry. Stand. She told me what you said. About how the problem could be solved. Yes, my king. My cousin used to have that same problem. Hers was even worse. She was caught begging a very dirty cattle to have her. But she was later healed. She's married now and a mother of three. I need the services of that healer. Okay, my king. Forgive me. I'm so sorry. No, oh my God. You can't do this. I'm only a commoner. The queen of our land must never kneel before anyone except the king. We are going to solve this problem together. Thank you. Thank you. I sent for both of you. For I have been briefed of what happened. Nobility is a virtue that money cannot buy. By your actions, both of you have shown that you are noble men of my land. And I have decided to reward you. Your Highness, I wasn't expecting any reward from you. Yes, same with me, my king. Actually, we did what we did because we knew it is wrong. An abomination for any man to sleep with another man's wife. Not just any wife, but the wife of the king. Yes. Uh, we escaped for our life and refused to mention what happened to anybody because we fear the gods. Exactly. Uh, the more reason you should be compensated. Son? Father. Well, by the approval of the king, my father, I hereby promote the both of you from ordinary palace workers to employees in my father's company.
Your compulsory one month training starts on Monday. And afterwards, you will be rewarded with an official car each. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you so much. No, no, you don't I can't go and bless you. You don't need to thank me. You have shown that you can be trusted. So I decided to trust you with bigger things. Hi. I think you will live long. My praise, God bless you. You go your reign. Hi, when you come to the pan. You go your reign will never end. Amen. My praise will live forever. Amen. I don't even know how to thank you. I am sure you're the one who asked the king to give me this promotion. I'll forever remain grateful. Come on, Ichoma. What are you saying? Now listen, I should be the one grateful to you forever. You did not only forgive me, but you accepted to come back to the palace. And yes, the medicine you recommended is doing wonders. Thank you so much. I mean, I owe you everything. I everything. Know I know that you'll be fine. <laughs> I personally thank Emeka and Chinedu for standing their ground. I don't know what would have happened if they had done something with you. It would have been disastrous. I mean, it wouldn't have ended well. Even the king himself, he wouldn't have forgiven me. But I'm happy how everything turned out. Thank you. You're welcome. I am super grateful. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what to say. But I know I am super excited. After work tomorrow, I'll come see you at your place. <laughs> okay, darling. I just love the way you say that to me. Now tell me, what do you want to eat? I want to cook it for you tomorrow. Wow, that's so romantic of you. But not to worry about the food. Just expect me by 1 p.m. tomorrow. I'll be at your place. Okay, darling. I'll be waiting. All right, bye. Wow, this is really nice. How do you always do this? How do I do what? I mean switching from the prince to the father and now from the father back to the prince. You know what? Just shut up, Uju. Okay? Shut up. It's none of your business what I do. The prince will make me his wife. And surely, I will end up in the palace as the queen. And I will teach that whore a lesson she will never forget. <laughs> that woman you have continued to castigate is not deadlier than you. I am certain you know that. Oh, please just shut up. Who is this Neka Ukwasa that you have refused to take her call? Neka. My point is that it's a, just one useless girl that can do anything to get at anybody. I know why she's calling me, it's, but I don't want to respond. It's nothing, my prince. Can we go back to. Yes. I know a certain girl called Neka Ukwasa. Is this the same person you're talking about? My prince. She's the one. Do you know her? You just called her useless. Tell me. Why did you address her as useless? My prince. N n n nothing. See, can we go back to our discussion she's she's too useless to form a topic please let's go back to what we are talking it's, she's nothing i'm sorry to disappoint you she's the only topic i want to discuss now as a matter of fact i scheduled a meeting with her after this one i want to make her my wife what so tell me why did you call her useless my prince 
You really mean you want to make Neka your wife? Mm -hmm. What happened? Why did you call us here? I brought my sister to witness what I'm about to do. You have served this royal household diligently for years. And all through your service, you have distinguished yourself. It is my conviction that there is no one as qualified as you are. Please. Will you be my wife? What? Why are you doing this to this poor girl? Listen. Look at me. I mean every word. Everything I just said. You're expecting a nigger. She's not qualified to be here. You have all the potentials. All the qualities of a queen. You're beautiful. Smart. And above all, you're loyal. Now you see, you can be any better queen. You can be any better one for me. Say yes in front of my sister. And make me the happiest man on earth. Yes, my prince. I'll be your wife. Wow. What is the matter with you, Nega? What is it? Please, this is an office, and there are some certain things you cannot do here. Do I look like I care? Do I? Call the police to arrest me. That is what I want. I will make sure I ruin whatever is left of your reputation in this town. And why will you do a thing like that? Where have I gone wrong? You went wrong the moment you slept with me those countless times and failed to deliver on your promise. And what promise are you talking about here? Neka, please, leave my office now before you attract my co-workers. Now. Like I care. That slut of a banker is still with the king. I slept with you so you could take care of that. My friends. What? Is this who you finally married? Hey, 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 hey! Come here. Please, I'm coming. I said, come here! Let me drop this back so I'll be back shortly. Wait! Can you imagine this palace mate? She has no respect. If it were the princess, would she do that? Gosh. 
To drop those bags. Which useless bags are you talking about? Are they more important than me? I'm sorry. Keep your useless apologies to yourself. From my heart, I forgive you. You can still find joy and happiness. This is not the end of the world. We can still be friends. Please, do not mind her. She has a heart of stone. Let her not bother you, please. Be seated, okay? Please. Well, my friends, how am I be of help? I want you to make a signatory to all the family accounts. She is now my wife. Is that all? Right away, my friend. <laughs> Lovely. Yes. And it's a boy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 